hey, I know that right now you're likely in a situation where you're inviting your teams to work at home, to work remotely. And as you do that, I want to highlight three things that I think you ought to pay attention to proactively before they become an issue. The first is that I don't think a lot of people have their homes prepared for working from home. And I'm not suggesting that they have to all create home offices, etc. I'm suggesting that you have to let them know that you know that. You have to let them know that it's okay if they're on a call and their child walks across the room or their dog barks in the background. Because employees will have a heightened sense of anxiety about working from home when they're stuck at a makeshift table in their master bedroom or they have kids and, and pets at home. And so the first thing we have to do, given what you're trying to do here as a leader, is to leverage your empathy to let them know in advance it's okay to not have a perfect environment to work from home. That's the first thing. What's the second? You want to focus on consistent and regular connection using video to make people feel like they're still part of a team. A lot of, a lot of uh, bosses and supervisors worry that when someone goes home, they're just going to play around. Most employees are not like that. They're not looking to play around. But it can feel isolating. And isolation can lead to distraction. And so keeping people focused on the mission, focused on what's ahead, is much easier to manage when you are creating a conduit for helping express and share that vision making sure people understand how their work contributes to the mission. And so to do that, you want to get on a tool like Zoom or something where you can see people's faces 15 minutes a day, right? Short, quick call to make sure everybody is in the know, to make sure people feel connected so that for the rest of their day, they get focused on the job at hand. What's the third thing? Even though your inclination may be to say, this is working like normal and let's just get it done and you have a sense and expectation for when something is due, do not micromanage. You're not shifting to remote management and remote work simply because you decided on a policy change. You're doing it because there is an external threat, a change in dynamic, a worldwide pandemic, and that's causing anxiety and stress for a lot of people. So, as you shift towards having people work from home, make sure that you're also uh, connecting with people and giving people grace and time to get work done because there's a lot going on. There's a lot of stress. And what you don't want to do is turn this into, yes, you're working from home, but every 15 minutes I'm pinging you on Slack, I'm pinging you on email, I'm checking on you. That's only going to increase stress and reduce productivity. Hope this helps. Take care.